A high-ranking Clark County judge steps down and a high-profile criminal courtroom closes its doors. Our ADUS now investigators say those two major developments are actually related. Kyle Payne with this story that we broke yesterday. Kyle, this is all happening in Las Vegas Justice Court. Denise, David, it's the politics of the criminal justice system in Clark County coupled with the politics of election season, as two candidates running for the same seat have predictably opposing views about a major issue. All the gray shaded areas are areas you are not authorized to be in. That's former Las Vegas Justice Court Judge Melissa Saragossa ordering a criminal defendant in her resort corridor courtroom to stay away from the world famous Las Vegas Strip or else... If you are in those areas, you will be arrested on a new misdemeanor violation. And sent to jail. Saragossa stepped down from the bench and into private practice earlier this year. A few months before, the Clark County Sheriff Kevin McMahill and the District Attorney Steve Wilson wrote this letter with the Nevada Resort Association responding to the Justice Court decision to close down that first-of-its-kind courtroom, saying, quote, we respectfully ask the court to reconsider its decision to eliminate the RCC. I want full transparency and I want voters to vote based upon my track record. Then Thursday, the chief judge of the Justice Court abruptly stepped down from her post a day after this interview with 8 News Now's James Schaefer. Judge Cynthia Cruz still running for office, but no longer chief judge. And her opponent says Cruz's resignation and the strip court closing are no coincidence. I think large in part that's due to a, a lack in strong leadership. Um, I think that's been confirmed by the recent resignation that we've seen. Madeline Levitt-Cole is a chief deputy district attorney in the gang unit, running against Judge Cruz and blaming her for the end of the strip court. I'm an advocate for the resort corridor court. I think it was working. I think it serves a necessary function. Judge Cruz sent me a statement this afternoon saying her opponent is both incorrect and completely off base and that the court closed only after a vote by all Justice Court judges. You can read that whole statement on 8newsnow.com. And Judge Cruz also says she will take over the courtroom that used to be the resort court or court and that she will instead focus on criminal defendants with serious drug and alcohol addiction.